All right, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be playing Castlevania Bloodlines for the Mega Drive or Sega Genesis. Let us begin. The ancestors of the Belmont family are doomed to confront the power of evil incarnate, Dracula. I let this little intro play. In 1917, a countess sought to revive the long dead spirit of the vampire. Her name was Elizabeth Bartley. To revive him, she needed to travel all over Europe, enlisting help from all the powers of darkness. Everyone. Two vam young vampire hunters set out to fulfill their destiny, push back the evil hordes, and drive the vampire back into his dark netherworld. Who are these two guys? I think neither of them are a Belmont. Okay, so this is Castlevania Bloodlines for the Sega Genesis. You know, uh, we are starting October, and uh, it, it just, um, everything just lined into place that I managed to finish Mario on the last day of September. So that way with October that I can begin playing Castlevania. Alright, so this is, um, I chose this one because of lengthwise. Uh, for length reasons, uh, this can be beaten in a single session. But I don't think I'm going to be doing that because um, I've never beaten a Castlevania game before and I know how difficult they can get. I've tried before. I think it was Castlevania 1 and Super Castlevania that I... Oh wait, no. I've beaten a Castlevania game. That was the Game Boy version. What was it? A couple years ago, I think. So this will be the second Castlevania game I've ever beaten. But anyway, let's jump right into it. And uh, let's see, press start button. Let's take a quick look at these options here. I don't think there's too much in ways of, oh, look at normal, easy. I'm gonna go with five players. I'm gonna leave the game at normal, but if, um, okay. If it gives me the option to add more lives, I will take it. Okay, so there's John Morris and Eric Lacard. I'll go with John Morris. He looks like the more traditional vampire hunter. He looks like a Belmont. This is weird though, because Castlevania usually has Belmonts. Okay, the ruins of Dracula, Castle Dracula, Romania. Alright. Okay, let's see how this goes here. Ah. I was thinking of taking on the first Castlevania, but uh, we just finished beating an 8-bit game, so I was like thinking, okay, maybe I will should switch, sh switch between 8-bit and like, you know, all the other generations. So that way it's uh, these little 15-minute uh, videos are not going to be all 8-bit games. Okay, I'm going to get my head into the game here, so if I talk too much I, I might end up losing focus here or getting careless. Plus I also like to listen to the music as much as I can while I play. These zombies have a strut. Look at that, they're so... They're one cool customer. Oh, nice. I think I'm invincible. Oh, I'm invisible, actually. Invulnerable. Not in indestructible. I wonder what's up with the... What do these gems are? Oh, okay, I think the gems are kind of like the item currency. The more gems I have, the more items I can use. Oh, I like the, my secondary weapon. Okay. Wall chicken. No, it's a wall book. Every time I see a, a wall breaking apart like that, I always think that I'm going to find the chicken, but... You know, like fully cooked chicken, not just a... Uh, not just an animal chicken. Oh, okay. Okay, I already got the uh, axe, but that's fine. Oh! Oh, if these guys just give me a second to leave... Okay, there we go. So I'm very excited to start a new uh, playthrough here, because it... Um, I kind of dug myself into a corner of starting three RPGs at the same time. Like, I'm um, playing through Persona 5 Royal, um, Lunar Silver Star Story Complete, and uh, Dark Souls as well. I'm going to stop the RPGs for the month of October because um, Dark Souls, I hear, is going to take a while. And uh, Lunar, I think I'm, I might be finishing Lunar too, but... Uh, with Persona 5 Royal, I'm probably guessing that I'm a third of the way there. Oh. Oh. 
We got half dead wolf. Ah! Okay. Let's see. Okay. Wow. Listen to that Ge Sega Genesis sound bite. Oh! Oh, gruesome. Still, do I still kill it? Oh, okay. I guess uh, I left him suffering for a little too long there. Okay, moving on. That was a. I guess that was a sub boss. A mini boss, if you will. Okay, let's get up here. Oh. Okay, so I'm. As far as I know. Oh, look at that. Wall chicken? Yes. No, it's not chicken. It's wall. Beef? Wall lamb? Look like uh, some sort of meat, anyway. Meat on the floor. Oh, red meat off the bone. <laughs> Look at the way he goes up the stairs. Let's put a lot of shoulders into it. Oh. Oh. Ah. How do I? How do I avoid that? Oh, okay. I just continue attacking. Okay, hopefully, I don't know, um, I think this has limited continues, so I may have to, uh, like, uh, I may have to, uh, restart this playthrough a couple of times off camera and get up to where I usually am. I'm playing this off the, um, PS4, There's the, what is it, the Castlevania collection, there's a whole bunch of pa Castle ga Gania, Castlevania games on here, and they released a, what do you call it? A Rondo of Blood? No. Was it Rondo of Blood? Yeah, Rondo of Blood and uh, Symphony of the Night uh, the, uh, bundle. And they also came out, uh, what was it, just a couple days ago. Um, what was it? Whoa. The Castlevania Advance Collection. I'm going to be getting that very shortly as well, too. Put that in my digital backlog. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Ow. Okay, I wasn't quick enough. I need some life. Oh, please. Oh, how do I... Okay, what, what is the attack pattern here? Okay, he just swings it, swinging a chain. Oh, I see a, a breakable wall up here. You know what that means? Possible wall chicken, or... What is that? Oh, oh barely. And just like, what, a rack, a, a rack of lamb or something? Ribs? No, it didn't look like ribs. It had one bone in it, so it's gotta be... Whoa! It's gotta be a leg of some sort. Okay, I'm not gonna stop for that. Just gonna keep going. There we go. I feel like we're close to a boss battle. Oh, this thing's pretty horrifying. Oh! Okay. Oh, got him. Oh, okay. Uh, there's... The uh, window is open. Let some fresh air in. Hopefully, uh, it wasn't too loud. Okay, let's see here. Oh, okay, we got a boss battle here. What is this? Dark Armor. I don't know if that's his name. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, got him twice. I think we're getting him. Okay. Oh, we got him. We got him. Nice! And I didn't lose a single life yet. Oh, what's this? It's the red orb. And we finally completed stage one. I don't know how many stages there are in this game, but... We got through one of them. Okay, jewel jewel bonus and uh, what is this? Oh, okay, this is a uh, password. I'll keep that in mind. Actually, I'll just look, come back to this video and look at this. And if I fail, I can just bring that up again. Okay, Atlanta. Actually, this thing has a save state feature. Might use that depending on how bad uh, I perform. This is an awesome boomerang, and really helped in the boss battle there! Oh! Stupid... 
Oh, and there's our first death. The Minotaur, or the Taurus, or whatever you call that. Which one, which one is which? Is that, uh, this is the Bull Man, so... What is the one with the, uh, the guy with the horse legs? I'm not thinking of uh, Mortal Kombat characters. Oh! Oh, again! You know what? I'm probably going to be using that password before I load up the next video. Because, like, I, what, I got, like, ten minutes left in this episode. Ten minutes. Five minutes left in this episode. Okay, I'm going to run over here, jump back. Oh! Oh! Oh, wow! Okay. Platforms of Death. Okay, I'm gonna learn the ins and outs of this stage here. Looks like it's, um, the game is calling me to do that now. Oh. Oh. Okay. Get some... Oh, look at that! I recognize this track! So, it's, uh... It's one of the staple, staple themes of Castlevania. Do do do. Okay, let's go. You know, that's a pretty nice water effect, even though it's not really a water effect. It's a mirror effect. Ooh. Well, we made it to the end of the... the end of the screen here. What, is, what the hell is this? Oh, the water is rising. No time to dilly-dally. We got an axe. Oh! Okay, you could stay there and look mean. I'm gonna continue on. Okay, so far so good. Oh. Ah! Uh, okay, I hope I'm going the right way. No. Oh, okay, I can still go. Oh! Oh, crap! Alright. Learning from our mistakes. That's the name of most games. Well, that's the... That is pretty much the basic of most games. Yeah, it's pretty nice to hear a uh, familiar track from... Oh, past Castlevania games. Ow. Okay, I'm not gonna worry too much about uh, killing every enemy on screen. Just gonna try survive. Since this is one of them auto-scrolling levels. Oh, okay. So far, so good. Oh, one up. Damn it. Oh well. I think I would have. I think I would have lost a life trying to get that one up. Oh, the music changed. Or either that is just some sort of oh, remix. Oh, nice. And we made it. We got no more lives left, though. Oh, what's this? It's a magician. It looks like a ninja. Okay, maybe I should have kept my uh, axe. Okay, does this guy do anything? He's a boss. I think he's a mini boss. Oh, the water's going up. I see. Why is the boss music, music still going? Okay, it's probably not the boss music. Oh. Oh, I see. We have more than one boss. Oh. Oh, got him. Barely, too. Oh, another one. Okay, that didn't do much. Oh. Oh! Sorry if that was a little loud, but, uh... 
Oh, what the hell? We got our game. We got a first game over. Okay, we got two continues left. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my password. And I'm going to start this over, and uh, we will show the uh, the bad guy getting killed there. Well, the one I was fighting anyway. All right, we'll catch you in the next episode. Until then, we'll see you.